Okay, so we've uh, the cowboy boot project, it's a Christmas sock. We've got the material cut out, but the lower part of the boot, um, this is black trim stuff here. We haven't sewn anything yet. And so we're just going to top stitch it, the two pieces together. This, this goes all the way down so that the black and white uh, cowhide is the full size of the boot. And then, uh, then we'll put the trim on, and then we'll install the batting on here, which has a, a fusible back on it to both sides. And we also have to put the center trim piece down the bottom, and the sole is going to be going to be this material. <coughs> This black ribbon material and let's check back in a few minutes a little later once we got some sewing okay in. the initial uh, the st stitching has been done we did the top stitch we had to make a quarter inch allowance at the top there's a quarter inch allowance on the top in here you can see where we've left a quarter inch allowance because that's the heat the uh, sole of the sh boot so then we'll uh, we'll allow the, a quarter inch in there and there'll be also a quarter inch taken off there for the uh, when the two pieces are sewn together. But other than that uh, this material, top material, the fusing didn't work very well on the uh, uh, it doesn't go through that much material so uh, if we were to do it again we would fuse the single layer on top of the batting and then stitch the, the top parts on. So other than that, uh, that's just uh, what happens when you've got a prototype. So the next one should be good. Uh, other ones, we've got this more leathery material. It looks like uh, uh, alligator. And then this one here. So we're going to use some different colors. Uh, and uh, we have some other beige just like faux suede type materials so we'll try a combination of those and we also have a darker version of that other one here so we've got some different uh, we're going to make about four of these four or five of these so anyway check with you later okay so we finished the first boot it was a little bit we did a lot of extra stuff in there so uh, it was a prototype but it looks not too bad A little bit black for the, uh, for the picture. Uh, this one here is uh, traditional colors, I guess, with a little bit of a alligator type look here. Um, we're going to do the top uh, stitching fold over on here uh, head. I've, I bonded this uh, to the backing material. And, uh, then on the here we've just put a uh, one stitch along in here, so we're not going to use that uh, that edging material. We're just going to sew that straight on. The heel, same thing. We've stitched it, and we're going to do away with the center seam. It's it's uh, more work. It's just a it's just the impression. Uh, and uh, this one here's so it should be a much simpler design and. Uh, I've made this section lower just to get a different uh, uh, different look, and uh, Renee wants the theirs to have a bigger heel, so we'll we'll try to make a bigger heel on the other one. Other than that, I think it's uh, we'll see how it turns out when we finish sewing. Okay, Renee's doing the final stitching. tab at the top for hanging the... Okay, so we're done this boot. A uh, few problems. One is the heel isn't big enough, so the next one we're going to make a bigger heel. Uh, the star fasteners, we just put a little tab in there, and that's a little plastic star that Renee got at Walmart at the uh, 
You said it, where, where was it? Around the pinata? Pinata stuff. And I just put I just put one hanging tab on there. I only wanted two, but I'm trying to keep it. And if I was to do it again, I would make this, which we are going to do another one. I'll make it a little higher, a, a, a shallower angle. But otherwise, it seems to work. And uh, I had to remove one the this layer of material on here to uh, to keep the keep the uh, thickness down so the sewing machine would work. So a few learning uh, issues, but otherwise uh, it looks like it's done. And prototype number two is done. So uh, next time we'll work on the other ones. Bye-bye.